What's up YouTube? Welcome back to... Uh, what's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube... F me. What's up guys? Welcome back to the Gold Guy YouTube channel. I've got a very special video for you guys today. As you can see, it's gonna be another video working on the Subaru. night vision safe driving assistant right here it's a night vision camera with a display that you put in the dash of your car you don't even need headlights I mean headlights do help you should probably still use headlights with this but this is night vision and it's gonna be awesome let's open this box up and see what's in it okay so it comes with two different mounting methods one of them is what I assume in the, is in this bag which is Yep, it's a non-slip mat. You can put this on your dash and then put the camera, put the monitor on top of this. It also comes with, there it is. This is the uh, other mounting option, which is a suction cup that you mount on your inside of your windshield. I don't really like having stuff on my windshield, so I'm probably gonna go with the non-slip mat option. All right, this is the monitor, check it out. Oh yeah, this looks really high quality. It actually, it's nice that they made it look nice because it's gonna be in my car for a long time. There's the camera right there, 1080p, HDR, Landmoto night vision. And then there's one more little box inside. Uh, there we go. All right, so this is all the hardware, all the wiring, and looks like some kind of mounting plate for something. This is how you power it. You put it into your cigarette lighter okay then this is another adapter this is for your obd2 port i'm not going to be using this one because i already have an obd2 bluetooth adapter but this is a great option to have if you don't want to use up your cigarette lighter and then there's some plugs and then check it out check it out they even gave me a free screwdriver Phillips head and flathead. Check that out. You, I mean, you'd pay some serious money for that. So thank you for putting that in there, Landmoto. Usually, while installing something, I would just take this instruction manual and do that with it. But for the sake, but for the sake of the video, I think I should go through this manual check it out and read it prior to installing so I kind of seem like I know what I'm doing. So this is what it includes. So it looks like they also have a system that comes with a rear view camera. I already have a rear view camera so they just sent me the cheaper option. But it would be cool to have a night vision rear view camera. Okay, so this is gonna show us what the heck these freaking buttons do. These buttons. So, signal switch button is for switching between front and rear vision. I won't need that. 
the second button adjusts the screen brighten, brightness and language. Screen rotation. So that means that you can mount this this way or this way, whichever one you want. That's cool. The power button, of course. And then there's a scroll up button. So I guess there's some kind of menu we'll need to go through. And then the seventh button is a vision switch button, which is to switch between full color and black and white. And number eight is a data cable slash power input. Oh, that's what that wire is. That's the power input, of course. And then this is going over the two installation methods. And here's some specs for you uh, spec guys out there. Actually, those specs aren't really, there we go. There's the tech specs, the interesting ones. Night view distance up to 300 meters. That's really the only one I care about. All these other ones just, I don't know. It's really cool. And then we got some troubleshooting. So the first part of installation, this mat here. I think I'm gonna just put it right there for now. And then I'm just going to take this screw out and attach this bottom piece to it. All right, easy as that. This goes on here, screw goes in. Screw that in there. There we go. This looks like a little TV. And then this bottom stand just slips into the non-slip mat. And there it is. Now we just set this right up here. Fits perfectly right there. And that's not going anywhere. Awesome. Now we just gotta plug it in. This is so easy. Here we go. I'm going with the cigarette lighter power option for now at least. So you guys know how to plug stuff in. Just push that in there. And it has an on button on the back. So now we take this cord and then we take the wiring harness that it came with. Plug this adapter in. And now we'll plug this adapter into the camera. All right, now we just plug it in, it's that easy. Okay, let's turn on the ignition and see what the heck happens. There it is. And it looks like the camera lens itself is actually adjustable. So you can move it around to suit your mounting position. That looks pretty good for me. Whew, that installation was seriously so simple. All I had to do was plug in the power and set the thing up on the dash. That's, that's it. So now all we have to do is wait until the sun goes down and see how this night vision thing works.